A hiker in Hawaii was rescued after spending 17 days lost in a forest on Maui. 35-year-old Amanda Eller is recovering at home after suffering a broken leg, a knee injury, and a sunburn so bad it became infected. She says she survived eating berries and drinking river water. And after more than two weeks, search crews finally located Amanda on Friday and airlifted her to safety. Joining us now is one of the three rescuers and a friend of Amanda Eller, Javier Cantalops. Javier, so great to see you this morning. Uh, thanks for being here to tell us this incredible story of a miracle. Let's just start, take us back to Friday, okay? Just start at that day. What made you think that your friend Amanda was still alive after 17 days? Because we hadn't found her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, that's really it, you know? We've been searching quite a bit of area and covering it really, really well. We were using that GPS technology, so we knew exactly where we, we had been searching. And we hadn't found another piece of evidence that led us away from that area. And we hadn't smelled anything strange. We hadn't found anything strange. And I was like, well, that only means that he's just still moving. That's why we haven't found her. Right. We just got to get farther. Tell us about the moment that you spotted her while you were in the helicopter. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was magic. It was, it was elation. We're flying up, you know, we're going up this, this, uh, this, what we call a gulch coming up and there's a waterfall and there's a stream and it's, it's pretty much, we're going up and with the helicopters, there's a waterfall, there's a waterfall, there's a stream, there's a waterfall, there's a stream. And, you know, we're hanging off these Nordor helicopters and, you know, we, we're having to turn around. We're at the end of this little search pattern because the helicopters only have a certain amount of gas. So we, were, we pretty much had about five, five to ten more minutes before we had to bounce out and then we're gone back home. And as we're coming up one of the last waterfalls, we're coming up, we're, we look, we can see Chris looking down and I'm looking down as we're coming up the waterfall and I can, he kind of looks forward and I kind of look forward and as we look back, boom, I mean, as we pop the waterfall, she materializes out of the trees, waving her arms and it, we were 200 feet off, off the canopy, you know, we, we were pretty high. And we made eye contact, and it was just absolutely unbelievable. Me and Chris freaked out, obviously. And then Pete's like, oh, my God. And I just remember him banking off to the side and me going into full-blown elation. I mean, it was like, whoop, boom. Like, <laughs> I shook the helicopter because it was just unbelievable. Oh, my so, gosh. Tell us about that moment. What did she first, what were her first words to you? What were your first words to her? Well, we were, we had to get, we, we tried to go on in one LZ pretty much on the other side of the ravine. And we were like, no, we're not going to be able to make that. So helicopter picked us back up and we had to get dropped off on the other side. And then he had to go, like I said, he had to bounce out. So he immediately takes off his director and drops us off. And we still have to bushwhack down to her. And I am, just, we are just like charging at full heart, soul speed, just crazy. But at the same together, like, we've got to make it still down this gulch. So as we're breaking brush all the way down in full-blown jubilation, I couldn't help myself. I already called her dad because I was one trillion percent sure it was him. I mean, her, you know. And I was like, we found her, man. And as we break, we're breaking through the brush, I can finally start to steer. And we call out Amanda. And she says, hey, yeah. like, do you recognize this voice? She's like, oh, yeah. Like, Boom! Out of the brush, I'll think. You damn right it is. That is so cool. And she's a you know physical therapist, so she knew exactly. about the body and she knew when she got injured what she would have to do. But still, 17 days. I mean, obviously that took a lot of mental control. And I know that she has talked about that that she had to make a choice to survive at some point because you could give up. That's right. I mean, so easily, Jesus. And After day 13. He's, you know, it's a yeah. long time to be alone. It sure is. Um, and so 14, 15, holy crap. I mean, and she said that she had seen the helicopters before, but you all hadn't seen her. She had tried to signal to them. That's right. And so, so Javier, what is the lesson here for, for the rest of us and for hikers and for just humans? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, for hikers, let's start with the hike. Okay. For you hikers out there. Let's make sure to maybe take a, a cell phone. You don't have to have it on, okay? <laughs> but something that you can be able to communicate back with your friends and family with. Let's let your friends and family know where you're going and how long you plan on being out. If not, 
taking a buddy with you, right? Because mm-hmm. as you can tell, just like Gilligan's Island and Amanda Heller, a three-mile run <laughs> turned into a 16-day ordeal. Exactly. Okay? And it's easy to get turned around in the forest. When it comes to us, it's about never giving up, you know? Never giving up on the hope, never giving up on your faith, never be- never stop believing in, in whatever it is that you believe in, you know, keep that hope going. Because a lot of people come up, came up to us so many times, you know, like day six. I remember this one lady coming up to me like, aren't we just wasting our time? Like, what, what are we doing out here? I'm like, what are we doing out here? Of course, searching for a person. That's what we're doing out here. Don't give up hope. Don't give up hope on, 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 on this better tomorrow. You know what I mean? You show me a, a piece of evidence that points me a different way and I'll go explore. But for right now, she's out there. She's moving out, and that's the only reason we haven't found it. But don't give up hope, Hmm. whether it's this, whether it's anything in life, and even if it doesn't work out, you know, always hope for that better tomorrow. That's the only thing that kept us pushing. That's beautiful. Um, Javier Cantalops, you are a hero. Uh, Thank you. We're so glad that this story had such a happy ending. We can see your jubilation. Um, Please give Amanda our best, and thanks so much for being with us on New Day. Thank you guys so much for having me. You guys have a fantastic day out there from here in beautiful Maui. Javier, aloha, guys. Aloha. Thank you.